Hello everybody, this is Matthew Dillner and this is NASCAR.com Xfinity Series Garage Cam presented by Mobile One. We're live here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway, the Granite State, the beautiful racetrack up in Loudoun, New Hampshire to give you a tour of the NASCAR Sprint Cup Xfinity Series Garage. Right now though, everybody's eye in this garage is on the last lap of the NASCAR Wheelin' Modified Tour All-Star Race. Ryan Priest taking it off turn number four for the victory over Woody Pitcat and Donnie Leah. What a race, everybody here on top of the haulers watching this thing on the big screen here at Loud, New Hampshire. What a race, what a race. Well, now we're, we're gonna get to garage cam business here. Of course, everybody that knows me knows that I'm a huge modified guy. Actually is, no, still has one lap to go, the last lap. I thought it was, oh, it's a 35 lapper I'm being told. I guess it's a 35 lapper, I was wrong. So we have five laps to go. Ryan Priest is leading. He has not won. Anyway, we need to get back to business. The show right here. Brent Wentz climbing underneath the 22 car right here, the Hertz car. First in the chat, Louis D. Donato, I believe, was the first person in today's interactive garage. Rashawn's having a hard time with the tablet here. It looks like a like a slot machine. It was it was rolling by. <laughs> Louis D. Donato, though, you get the pole position for NASCAR. Dot com garage cam, the Xfinity Series show, right here, the number 60, your point leader, the zestfully clean number 60 of Chris Busher. We're, we usually don't show the front of the field first, but today we're doing it. I don't know why. I think it's because there's a big screen there. Anyway, uh, Austin Dillon, the heating, cooling, and water heating reams machine, the number 33. And a cool, few cool new paint schemes back here. Hopefully, hopefully we can see a few people. Uh, oh, what is this? We've got uh, Mike Dillon up there and the boys watching the uh, modified race. Two laps to go here. I'll tell you what, even these race car drivers here, they love standing here watching some of the other race in the K&N East Series races here this weekend as well. But Joey Logano, the number 22 car, of course, uh, what dominance by the 22 car here. Actually, this isn't Joe Logano. Brad Keselowski in the 22 car. What I'm saying is the dominance here has been with Brad Keselowski and with Kyle Busch. Unbelievable dominance between those two drivers since 2009. No Xfinity Series race here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway has been won by a driver other than Kyle Busch and Brad Keselowski. That is dominance right there. Well, let's give you a little tour here. We'll walk around to the other side of the NASCAR Xfinity Series garage. As Woody Pitcat wins in a near photo finish in the NASCAR Wheelin' Modified Tour NASCAR Wheelin' Modified uh, All-Star Race over Donnie Leah and uh, Ryan Priest. Anyway, Morgan Shepard here on the other side. My boys are laughing at me because I'm doing garage cam, walking and chewing bubble gum at the same time. Where's that microphone? Let's see, here we go. Thanks, bud. Here's Morgan Shepard here. We'll get him real quick on NASCAR.com Garage Cam Live. And uh, always gotta love coming up here to the Granite State, such friendly people and a real racing community up here. And uh, you always come up here and have a good time. Well, and I did, and it, it goes all the way back to uh, Oxford, Maine, when Bob Bear yep. owned the track over there. and, and uh, then him and Dick and the family built this track here uh, at Loudoun. Uh, the people up here just really, they have that southern hospitality up here. We'd just a different up. accent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just a different accent. All right. Thanks, we'll sir. let you get back because we know you work hard on this number 89 car. Morgan Shepard does it all himself pretty much. He's got some volunteers that help him out throughout the weekend. But I'll tell you what, not many drivers in this garage work harder than the veteran Morgan Shepard. Talks, of course, about Bob Bear and the Bear family who uh, founded this speedway right here. And now, of course, uh, Bruton Smith and his company own it. But still that southern hospitality, Yankee southern hospitality, as a lot of people jokingly call it up here. You know, Vermont, New Hampshire, uh, Maine. There's just such a, a great feel um, up here and a, a great sense of community, and especially in the racing community, a very close-knit racing community up here in upper New England. Josh Round, Derek Cope right here, and Mike Harmon behind Ian Cope's car. 
coat climbing underneath the car, working on it himself. Got to love seeing that. As we scroll through here, of course, you can hear me a little bit better because the 600 horsepower NASCAR modifieds are off the track. <laughs> I can hear myself talk, which is great. Derek White pulling double duty this weekend, attempting to qualify for his first Sprint Cup Series race. And Carl Long, say hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. That seems like it's the, the tone of the day. I don't know why we're having everybody say hi, Mom. Well, last time we was here, we had to say no to crack at Dover, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right, because the crew member was bending over, and it wasn't a pretty view. <laughs> Peyton Sellers with the uh, Peacock paint scheme on the number 97 this weekend for the Virginia driver. And Harrison Rhodes. All right, let's have some fun. All right, live on Garage Cam. You never know what you're going to see. And right now we've got uh, two very likable drivers uh i saw you were he was on the phone with his agent or bookie uh mcclure was and now what, are you getting advice from him are you handing this to me yeah why Can not here it? take it okay. take it are you getting advice from eric mcclure what, what's going on here i am i was telling him i liked his reynolds wrap on the nomex so i put it on uh, i put a leaf filter on mine so when we take the the fire suit down you can still see our sponsors logos because that's really important to uh to why we're here today i'm still wanting him to wrap himself in uh reynolds wrap uh, and go across the stage one day for driver's intros. I think he's too chicken to do it. Yes, I'm too old to do crazy <laughs> things like that, I think. I don't know. I'll do anything they want. <laughs> All right, Loudon, you guys having a good time so far? Yeah, go ahead. How, how was your first practice? First practice is really good for us. Our uh, leaf filter gutter protection Camry was rolling the center really good. It's a little free, but in the past, I think is I remember this. Is it free off? Where is it free? Everywhere, Everywhere. basically. Okay. Yeah, in, center, off. So. You know, looking back at the past races, people started to get a little tight. So we're trying to trying to keep it on the free side, and hopefully the uh, the track tightens up, and then we'll be right in the in the window we need to be. Well, he's talking about that. The track does change a lot here, Eric, and and you know all about that because we always have different rubber compounds throughout the weekend. You have the NASCAR Wheel of Modifieds, you have the K&N East cars, and you have four divisions of race cars. And I think it's about three different type rubbers on this track. How much of a challenge is that throughout the weekend? Well, it can be today, obviously, with with the different series going back and forth. And then tomorrow, you know, we qualify, then there's cup practice in a modified race and so on and so forth. But uh, the good thing about that is everybody's on the same boat. And then once we run a few laps, it's it's OK. Uh, you know, our car's driving OK uh, on long runs, and I'm happy about that. I uh, Blake's loose. He likes to be free. I, uh, I know you got to be free to pass people. But I don't do free, so it's uh, we got a little bit of work to do, but we're happy. I've got, I've got one last thing to say as we close. We're all Americans, so we're all free. <laughs> all right, guys, have a great day. <laughs> oh, having a little fun here in the New Hampshire garage area with Eric McClure, driver of the Reynolds Wrap Hefty machine. Let's see, uh, Katie uh, Whirling, thanks for doing thanks for doing this. If you have time. I enjoy some Eric McClure. Well, there you go, Katie. We got you some Eric McClure. Boom. Right back at you. And here is the driver of that machine. Little Reynolds wrap plug there on a shirt. And oh, this silver and blue car looking pretty sporty here in Loudon, New Hampshire. Right next door, BJ McLeod, the Florida driver in this beautiful looking number 90 paint scheme this weekend. Joey Gase right next door. Let's, uh, let's roll on over here because I see uh, Ryan Sieg. We never get Ryan Sieg on camera. We never get Ryan Sieg on camera. And now we're going to embarrass him because he's, he's got a mouthful. Well, okay, okay, Ryan Sieg, hold on. We'll, we'll get it so we can see you better here. What, what, you, what you eating, man? Uh, steak steak uh, fajita quesadilla. So you cooked for all of your crew, I, I, right? No? That's right. Yeah, yeah. Driver and, and chef. And chef? Yes. So you get right. out of your car, cook a steak uh, quesadilla, whatever that's it right. is, and get back in. That's a talented uh, operation you run. Yep, jack of all trades. Okay, you got to so, be good at everything. So how was your first practice? Back <laughs> to serious this year at Loud. Uh, it was very good. Uh, the Uncle Bob's car was Really good for a change. Uh, we dialed it in. We did a qualifying run right there. And okay. Probably could have a little, been a little bit better, but didn't know how I was going to react. So, but always got a little bit more left in the tank, and we're going to go do race runs in the second practice and get it, 
dialed in a little bit more. And hopefully not too much additional left side weight. That's Ryan right. Sieg, the Uncle Bob storage yeah. machine right here, chilling out in the garage area. Oh boy, look at what we got here. Making his triumphant debut to Garage Cam and making his uh, tr triumphant return to Garage Cam and his triumphant debut, it's the Wallaces. Should I give you this mic? It could be trouble. You know when I give him the mic, it, it's, it sometimes is uh, trouble. <laughs> well, Matt, it is a triumph, big deal of, uh, you know, Matt Wallace. This is Matt Wallace, my son, that he is uh, making his inaugural debut here at New Hampshire International Speedway after coming off a great second place finish in the CRA race at Lebanon, Missouri That's a couple right. weeks ago. So, um, so what do you think here? It's, it's obviously special to be here making your debut, but, but to be hanging in the garage with your father, that's, those are times that are priceless. It is. It's, uh, it's a true honor to be able to do what I'm doing today. It's a teenager's dream to be in the shoes that I'm in today and uh, tomorrow. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun, and we'll see what she has. All right, so what, how was that uh, first practice for you out there? And uh, what, what sort of pointers is the old man here giving you? Uh, it's a lot different than what I'm used to, so it just takes a little bit of practice, you know, to get used to what we're doing. Well, it's a lot uh, heavier yeah. car than you're used to, to wheeling, you know, with the, with the late models and whatnot. Uh, right. how, much, how much discipline does that take to, to not hurry up too fast and, and, you know, and, and get used to this race car? It's, uh, it takes a quite of an adjustment for me, you know, you know, driving down the corner, you know, deeper, not, not as deep as what I could uh, in a late model. And the brakes not as being, seem like they're not as good just because the car is not as, he or as heavy. Um, you know, a lot of things that go along with it, and we're, we're starting to get them figured out here, so we'll see what the next practice has. A good racetrack for a young driver, isn't it, Mike? Uh, because this is a racetrack with having to roll the center of the corner and be patient to get back on that throttle. Is this a good place for him to be running? Well, I believe this is a very challenging racetrack. Yes. A lot of people don't realize the technique it takes to run here at New Hampshire that, uh, as you say, you got to get down the corner. It's an easy place to get loose getting in the corner, but then you got to roll the center, can't get back to the gas. But... Uh, you know, I think he did good. I think he's excited. You know, we were talking coming up yesterday that we were, uh, we always talk about historical events. So, you know, that with Matt running this race or starting this race tomorrow, our family, so from what we're told, is the first time in NASCAR history that there's a father, a daughter, and a son that has raced in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, Nationwide Series, Bush Series. So, right. Chrissy did it a few years yep. ago. Matt's doing it today. But you know, his big excitement, and this tells you how much of a kid he still is, right? Big, big event coming to Loudon, gonna race. He tells me this morning, he says, hey dad, guess what? He says, Sarah, his girlfriend, she says he won, she won ticket to Shania Twain on Sunday night back at home, so I'm going to Shania Twain concert. I says, man, can you leave her at home and take me? Because she's hot, you know? <laughs> so uh, he keeps things in pretty big perspective. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, so tell got, me about Garage Cam. How's Garage things Cam's going today? Well. We've missed you very much here at the racetrack, and we're glad that you're doing well and you're yes, feeling uh, well. You look great. Three weeks or three uh, months into, yep. I had triple bypass heart yep. surgery. Look at here. And look I, at this I guy. He's sleek I, I don't, and slender. I don't do this to most people, but my surgeons did such a great job. Look here. They glued me together. They didn't use stitches or staples. They glued me. He's so like the bionic good. man. Yeah. We could rebuild him. So Dr. Cece back at the uh, Sanger Clinic in, in Concord did a wonderful job. I'm thrilled to death to be at the racetrack. I, it, I want to be in a race car so bad right now, but uh, the next best thing is watching Matt race. And I'm uh, going to go eat a little lobster tonight, they say. And uh, they said there might be some alcohol to go with the lobster, so we're in good shape. Well, you're going to have some fun, and hopefully we see you back in a race car. You're going to see me for sure, for sure, at the 2016 Daytona Speed Weeks. Because we uh, want to see the two of you on the track at the same time together. Yeah, I think I can beat him. I really do. But uh, what do you think? We'll see. Oh yeah. Come on, uh, <laughs> he's so nice on camera. <laughs> yeah. You know, behind the scenes, he's like, "Oh, oh man, I, I got you." He, that's he runs that little mouth of his now and then, <laughs> so he uh, gets carried away. But it's a pleasure seeing you guys again. Right. Thanks for including us on the famous garage cam because it's a uh, quite an honor. Always, bud. Good right, to see man. you. Okay. You want your mic back or? Pro probably. I mean, we got to do a few more interviews at least. We can fill some more time if you want. I, I know this guy. Hey, this guy loves to fill time. I hey, like Pete now, hey, now listen, it, but he you know, loves to fill some time. Can we, can we prelude something just a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Come well, on. you know, as we all know, my brother Kenny has made the announcement that yes. he is not going to race after Iowa. That's yep. going to be his final race. And I wish I was going to be there. It stinks yeah. that, that. So I'm Matt's going to run Iowa in this car also. That oh, was going to be his inaugural race. So uh, big event. Matt's getting the, the family car keys that day. Sweet. All right, bud. Thanks, man. Hey, thank you so much. We appreciate it, and congratulations. Have fun this weekend. All right, Matt Wallace right there, a good wheel man right there, and uh, the Wallace family, heck of a racing family. And Mike Wallace is one of the most entertaining.
drivers in the garage. We love them very much. Blake Cook right there. Ryan Sieg will motor through some of these guys pretty quick as we talk to them already on NASCAR.com Garage Game. If you're new to the show and you're looking at Dylan Lupton Zaxby's car from the Athenian Motor Group uh, team and this Ross Chastain number four, well, hopefully you're in that chat room too to the right because this is what this show is all about. It's live, it's raw, it's uncut, it's unscripted. We don't even know who we're going to talk to. We just walk up with a microphone and have fun. It's just like you had a hot pass into the NASCAR Xfinity Series garage. Hopefully you're watching this on NASCAR.com. If not, you can watch it on NASCAR uh, on Xfinity. They have it on demand. It's really cool. You know, I didn't even know that, and, and a fan earlier in the season told me about that. And uh, I checked it out, and it's an awesome thing. Xfinity di doing so much for this series. David Starr, the Zachary number 44 right there. Let's see who we can see here. See if we see any drivers. We like to fish them out for you guys. So we get some uh, some talky talky here on NASCAR.com. But Jeremy Clements, of course, uh, we always get some requests. Okay, here's an underdog driver and an under underdog team, but Jeremy Clements always uh, very popular here on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. Barry Nordine. Hi, Matt, if you see Jeremy Clements or the number 51 team, wish him good luck from the Swedish fan, from his Swedish fans. All right. JC getting some fans from the Swedish country, from Sweden, that would be, the Swedish country. What is that? From Swedish people? Well, welcome. We love having international followers here on NASCAR.com. Looking at this photographer taking a shot of the DC Solar Brennan Pool machine right next door. Driver Ryan Reed, the Roush Racing driver, the winner at Daytona earlier this year. Of course, Brennan Gaughan, the South Point Hotel and Casino, flat black ride, the number 62. Shane Wilson and the boys on this team. Move right next door here to Daniel Suarez, the rookie from Mexico in the number 18. I'll tell you what, Brennan Gaughan's got a pretty cool hat. Let's check this out. Look at that helmet. It's a pretty good, good looking helmet right there. For Brennan Gaughan. Suarez. B. Scott. Oh, Brian Scott was on our flight, actually. All of us with NASCAR.com were flying out, and Alex Bowman and Brian Scott were on our flight. B. Scott, a rare commercial flight, enjoying himself. We had a little fun down by the uh, baggage carousel, all poking fun of each other. But the Velveeta Craft number two. Oh man, he's been oh so close and he came no closer than Daytona this year, leading so much of that race. But uh, we've said it before, we'll say it again, our win is around the corner for this number two team. You know, we can say how many times have we said that, but you know, eventually it's going to happen. If you run up front as long and as strong as the number two, it's going to happen. Bubba, number six. Roush Fenway Ford, new paint scheme this weekend on the side of this machine. And out of respect to this team, I will show this right here, the little Red Sox logo. I, however, am a Yankee fan. <laughs> but we love Bubba Wallace and we love Roush Fenway Racing and the Fenway Group for their involvement in the sport. A lot of respect there. And there's driver Ryan Reed. Walking, where are you going, brother? Uh, bathroom. Bathroom. Oh, well, we, we, we won't follow you there, but... Uh, I mean, you guys can if you want. No, that's okay. <laughs> but big weekend here always for the for the Roush Fenway group, uh, especially being up here in Beantown, man. Yeah, it's... Uh, I look forward to coming up here every year. And, you know, this is one of my favorite tracks, actually, coming here. So Why, why is that? Oh, I just like short track racing, so it's flat and you can slide around. And, uh, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot more a driver can dictate here. Or I say that, but we're not very good right now. So uh, the Roush, the Roush cars need a little work right now, but we'll get there. Uh, That's okay. You got a second practice uh, to get I, it done. Go, go go get your bathroom break and then get it done in the second I, practice. I appreciate. We'll that. let him go. <laughs> oh, you gotta love driver Ryan Reed there. Don't say that because that's on his car above his door. It just doesn't say Ryan Reed. It says driver Ryan Reed. Anderson's maple syrup on board the number seven.
Here's a number three of Ty Dillon. This crew going to work on this Unifirst number three machine. Ty looking over all that work. And the car was a little bit free, especially coming off of turn number two here. Like we've said, we've all said this place is a delicate place as far as balance wise on a race car. Not a very easy place to get around. Here's a number seven of Regan Smith. About to climb in his uh, machine here, Chevrolet. And wondering, Regan's all jacked up, as you can see, to be on garage cam. Actually, he's going to be jacked down here in a second. Uh, okay, how much maple syrup have you had since you're up here in Maple Syrup Land? You know, Anderson's got, is your sponsor, uh, man. We've got Anderson's maple syrup on the car, so a lot needed on everything. Are, are, are you sweet or sticky today in practice? Well, I'm hoping that my car is going to stick to the track really good, so we're going to go with sticky. All right. All right. You see the syrup on the car, and you see the foot climbing into the race car. That's Regan Smith right there. He's hoping to get that car sticky in the turns here. Sticky. Yeah, sticky. Having too much fun on Garage Camp, but that's okay. Elliot Sadler's number one Ford Mustang. You see the front nose of that machine right there. Let's get to some shout outs here pretty soon in the in the uh, garage, in our interactive garage. Well, we're in the NASCAR Xfinity Series garage, but we have our own interactive garage here on NASCAR.com, that little chat room. Check it out. Paul McGowan. Oh, welcome back, Mr. Matt Dillner. Great work to have you, and great to see you back in New Hampshire. Love being here. I think I've only missed one race. Uh, one or two races in the history of uh, the races here in Loudoun. Um, just love this place, even the weekends we used to come up for IndyCar and, and Modifieds. Katie Whirling, uh, Jessica Jenkins uh, wants to see uh, Parker Kligerman walking around. And uh, yeah, I think we just saw him around. He's doing his TV gig. Parker Kligerman for NBC Sports. Rowdy Bush, the number 54 right here. Number nine of Chase Elliott. We're trying to get that car dialed in. Ryan Reed back from his bathroom break. <laughs> ben Rhodes, great to see Ben Rhodes, the young race car driver in the k and E-Series star with uh, Junior Motorsports. Uh, you want to talk about a talented and very personable young man as uh, Ben Rhodes, so great to see him getting an opportunity at a track where we know he could get it done here. Uh, he's got it done here before, but the thing is with uh, Ben Rhodes, an excellent short track racer. So this is a place where a little comfort level can come to Ben Rhodes. And we'll try to keep an eye out for Ben Rhodes here since we're in the top few cars here. The number 20 machine right here with uh, one heck of a paint scheme here for Denny Hamlin. Uh, Sun Energy on board this number 20. We showed you some of these cars at the top of the program, but we'll show them to you again. Austin Dillon's number 33 car getting final preparations underway for second practice here at New Hampshire Speedway. Chris Busher strapping into his number 60 zestfully clean car. I'm sure he's feeling very clean. Not sticky like uh, Regan Smith. Who all smiles is the point leader right now. Busher about to hit the track. His spotter, Mike Herman Jr., will be in his ear. Canapolis' own. Let's see if we could go uh, talk to Ben Rhodes real quick. And we get to talk to Ben Rhodes. You know, we've introduced you to him on Garage Cam back when he was running the E-Series car in Bristol, where um, I think he wrapped. Uh, we're not going to ask you to do that. Yeah, but we are going to ask that. you, how was your first practice? First practice was Let's really good. Let you off easy, by the way. That, thank you. Yeah. I have, rapping skills are not that great. No, no. You heard it. Yeah. Well, uh, first practice went pretty good. It's probably my best practice in the Xfinity car yet. Um, we had a really good 88 Alpha Energy Solution Chevy. And uh, I feel good with where we're at. I know where I need to go. Chicagoland, I didn't know where I needed to go. <laughs> now I do. So that's, that's already a step in the right direction. We had a really good team meeting. Um, we're about to make a, a couple more runs here, some race runs, some really long runs. Uh, I just need seat time. I think I made more laps in first practice than anybody, and that just comes down to seat time for me as a driver. The more I run, the more comfortable I feel, the faster I get. Now, when we talk about seat time, we talk about comfort level. Comfort. Okay, this type of racetrack and a place that you've been to before, 
how much of a comfort level is that for you here in this uh, Xfinity car? It, it lends itself to comfort for me because I come from a legend car background and uh, the legend cars, you drive it hard into the corners, it's really low and make it a diamond. And it's kind of similar to what you do here, making the corners somewhat like a diamond. I know you have really long corners here at New Hampshire. Really long corners, but you can drive it in pretty hard and carry a lot of roll speed. So it's it's similar to my background. I've been here a couple times, uh, raced Kane in here several times. It's, it's It's been a lot of fun. When are, when are we gonna see you next? Uh, let's see, two weekends from now in Iowa Speedway. Okay, and we'll have you on Garage Cam whenever you want. <laughs> All right, Ben Rhodes right there, driver of this beautiful number 88 car, of course, uh, Junior Motorsports. Seeing the talent that Ben Rhodes has, and uh, great to see NASCAR's feeder series, the NASCAR k and &E series, bringing such talent here. Different, uh, different areas of racing that some of these race car drivers come from. Chase Elliott here, of course, from the super late model ranks, but both of these guys actually cutting their teeth with uh, Legends cars and uh, Bandolero. So uh, taking different routes right after that, one super late models, one a little bit heavier car, late model than into a heavier car. So many different routes to take here. Uh, Daniel Suarez from the NASCAR Mexico series, but uh, it's all NASCAR's development series and it's pretty cool to see some of the talent on the rise. And you'll see some of that talent here tomorrow in the uh, NASCAR K&N East race, excuse me, today in the NASCAR K&N East race. Rico Abreu, one of those drivers just picking up a win the super, super talented sprint car driver who's driving a, um, to a, drove to a win at Columbus the other week, and he'll be running here today. And of course, the NASCAR Wheel of Modified Tour, their second race, their big race tomorrow here at Loudoun. An action-packed triple header, excuse me, quadruple header. Oh wait, there's an all-star race too. Five header, what would a five header be called? But if you're here at New Hampshire, the racing action is nothing short of spectacular all day long you get to come here and for the ticket you get this weekend you get one heck of a show austin dillon strapping into his number 33 car and you can tell you know sometimes we have garage cam and it's after practice well right here you can see practice number one for a few people they get to the wall austin dillon ty dillon both making a little consequential little uh contact to the, with the wall and these are two kids that can get it done the uh dillon boys but this place is so temperamental. You look at the track and you look at the layout and you think, oh, what's so hard about this place? One of the most challenging places that we race. The points leader rolling out into the track. That means practice is starting here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. This is uh, uh, NASCAR.com, Garage Cam. Enjoy your race day. I'm Matthew Dillner, and until next, wait, we got another request? Yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah, that's right. We got to tell them that 4 p.m. You need to watch tomorrow, NASCAR Xfinity Series, Lakes Region 200, NBC Sports Network, 4 p.m. Make sure you tune in and make sure you tune in all week long on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. I'm your host, Matthew Dillner. And until next time, we'll see you at the races.